It's time to add some uh, markings on this. So take your pencil or your ink pen and write your name right here. Okay? Your name on one side and then the letters F, P, G, 9 for foam plate glider 9 inch on that side. It's helpful to put some arrows. This is the direction your model is going to fly. So I'm going to write a few arrows. It flies in this direction. Okay. And this is the wing. This is the tail. And it flies in this direction. So go ahead and make these markings on your model. Okay, so we've had a chance now to make all of our markings on here. It's now time to cut this out. And you cut it out pretty much the same way you cut the paper out. Except for you find it easier, try to cut straight, even though your line may not be straight. And I like to start at the front of the wing, the leading edge, and I cut here to the tab. Then I rotate the plate. So this is only going to take me a second. You may want to just watch me do this part. And then you can do yours. So I cut that on off there. Make sure you save that tab right there. Instead of trying to cut that way, I like to rotate the plate and cut. And now I've got the front of my glider. So let's cut off the back of the wing. I cut straight across. And straight across here. I'm going to cut the tail the same way. Just use my scissors. Rotate the plate to make it easier to cut. And since this has a curve, it's a little bit harder to cut. Make sure this is all on the flat piece of the plate. We want your tail to be completely flat. If it's up on the edge here, that's not good. All right, so I've cut my two pieces, and they fit just like that. Time to cut the six slits and the two slots in your model. So let's start with the slits and just like the paper you only make one cut. So I'm going to make one cut like this and one like that and one cut like this and one cut like that. On the tail I'm going to do the same thing. One cut, two cuts. So you shouldn't even see any difference in your model when you've made these six cuts. Time now to cut the slots. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. For the slot, I'm going to make two cuts. But I'm not going to make them too wide. Here's my first cut. Here's my second cut. When I do this, that blue piece should pop out the back. Yep, there it is right there. Popped out the back. And I can actually pull it off. And there's the blue piece. So your slot... If I zoom back out and change lighting, now you can see a hole in between. So I'm going to do that again with the tail. Zoom in so you can see. One cut, two cuts. And that piece pops out the back like that, so you can just pull it off. And now I've cut both of my slots in my two parts of my model, one here and one here. Now that you've made all your cuts, there's just uh, one thing we need to do and add to our plane, and that is we need a pilot. And the pilot I like to use is Abraham Lincoln. And I use Abraham Lincoln for two reasons. One, he flies cheap, only one cent. And two, he's made out of copper, so he doesn't need a helmet. His head's already hard enough. So I'm gonna place this there's three steps. I'm going to place it right here in the middle. I'm going to take one piece of tape and tape on to the penny to hold it down. Try to get it exactly in the middle. That's step one, put a piece of tape. Step two is to close the cockpit. That's that tab right there. Close it. And step three is put a seat belt over it, which is another piece of tape like this. Step one, tape the penny. Step two, Fold down the tab, step three, tape it, and now we have a pilot in our plane. 
Remember how we made these cuts in the slits? I'm going to take my pencil, probably my finger. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to do this. This is called scoring. And I'm going to push down right here. And when I push down, now I can move this up and down like that. Do the same thing to this one right here. I'm just going to take my finger. You don't use your finger. You can use the end of your pen. And when I score that, I can move it up and down. So I did that to these two things. I'm going to do it to this last one right here. I'm going to use my pen and, and rub it. And now this will move back and forth like that. Go ahead and do that. Score these three little squares right here. Once these are scored, there's some special letters I want you to write on them. These are elevons, so I want you to write E for elevon. There are two elevons, and we'll just write E for elevon. This is your rudder. So I'm going to turn it like this and write R for rudder. E, E, R. Go ahead and put those on your plane. All right, we've made the two parts, a wing and a tail. All that's left is to put these together. Remember the slots you made? Well, this, kind of round like a shark fin, dun, 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 dun. Follow the arrows, and this gets hooked into here. Dun, 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 like that. And if you made it, if you cut it too big, it might be floppy. If you cut it too small, it'll bend like that. So if it bends like that, you need to, might want to cut it a little bit. But mine looks like it's just about right. And it fits in here like that. Now the, the goal is to get this so it's straight up and down like that. Okay, so see what I did? This goes in here like this. And we want to have nice 90 degree angles. This is called perpendicular, but it's a nice 90 degree angle. Go ahead and fit it in there like that. The tail will fall out of your model unless we tape it on. So I'm going to use four pieces of tape. One, two, and then on the bottom, three, four. So let me demonstrate all of this, then you can do it. My first piece, I'm not going to tape it by my rudder. I'm going to tape it up here a little bit. So I bent it. There's the first piece. Don't use a lot of tape. Here's my second piece. Okay. And see, it's now it holds it in place, but it still goes back and forth. So I need to tape it on the bottom here, two more pieces small piece here. A lot of times kids have trouble with this because you have to actually bend the tape. So let me show you one way that I don't like. See how I left that gap in there like that? Right here, it's better if you push it down nice and flat. So there's my third one, and here's my last piece. Ready? And you want to make sure it's nice and straight. And my FPG-9 with the tape is now ready to fly.